All my subs in chat, let me see them Cousin Drew emotes right now. Let's get hype before we get this shit on the road. Let's go. Let's see them emotes right now, everybody. There we go. There we go. What's going on, everybody? Happy April. Happy Tuesday night. Happy, uh, what is it, April 3rd already? Yeah, we're in our fourth month, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Cousin Drew's Cooking Show, episode 26. Tonight we're going to be doing sautéed cod fillets. Um, welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Already got everyone uh, gathering in already. Happy to see you all here. Like I said, we're four months in already, guys. New month, new start. Uh, let's get it rocking tonight. We're gonna do some fish. I was just talking about how I uh, haven't done a fish dish in a while, and Max mentioned a couple uh, items he wanted me to cook. So we got some. Um, we're doing cod fillets. He wanted me to do tilapia. I didn't get tilapia buns. They didn't have any. Taylor, what's going on? How you doing? Thanks for stopping by. Uh, so I ended up grabbing some cod fillets, super bomb, super dense and thick. Uh, I'm super excited to get get them going. Um, we're going to be serving that with some broccoli rob. We're going to do a lemon garlic broccoli rob that I'm going to throw some sautéed sweet yellow onion in. Uh, Max mentioned he wanted me to cook that up, so, you know, we're going to get down on that. And then for the starch, we're going to do some roasted uh, organic fingerling potatoes, you know, get them roasted, seasoned up real nice. They're going to complement uh, the fish really well. I don't know what it is about fingerling potatoes, but I, I just feel like they complement um, fish just super, super well. I'm a, I'm a big fan of eating them with fish. They have this really, really good aftertaste that just I feel like goes super well with it. So uh, we're going to get cracking and we're going to be serving a traditional beurre blanc sauce with the fish, guys. If you don't know what a beurre blanc sauce is, it's um, basically a butter white wine sauce. It literally consists of like 99% butter. Super delicious, super bomb if you're a butter lover like I am. Thoroughly enjoy it and it's really easy to make, like insanely easy to make. What the? Crazy been here for two months. I enjoy this awesome community, Drew. Keep on cooking. Thank you so much. Are you serious, man? Chef Doug, I appreciate that very much. Thank you for the 510 biddies. Looks like you're already a number one leader. I see that badge. So thank you so much, Chef Doug. I appreciate that, brother. Thank you very, very, very much. What the? Maxi coming through with the four-month resub. Thank you, Maxi. Appreciate it. Love you. Thanks for all the help. Everyone, you know, Max in charge, he's a... Uh, he does a lot for the stream, outside of the stream, you know what I mean? And then when he's in the stream, you see him, you know, doing mod work when we had that, uh, we had that troll in here, you know, Max, Max is awesome, guys, so everyone, you know, go ahead and get some, some hype, some Cousin Drew emotes in the chat right now for Chef Dog, for Maxi, for Liss, coming through, dropping biddies, what she drop? Uh, Liss coming through with 510 biddies, Gmo Baby coming through, dropping a gifted sub to Taylor Kent, well, welcome Taylor. Um, welcome to the family tree. Welcome. I take a shot for you, but as a as of recently, Twitch said I'm not allowed to take shots uh, for cheers. So sorry, but we will take a shot. You know, a little later on in the stream for everybody, not a cheers, Twitch. So let's get them emotes hyped up, guys. Happy to have all you guys in here. Bark dog, what's going on, baby? How you doing? Enjoyed the stream earlier. Good shit. Uh, Mercules, Nate Do Dub, what's going on, J Town? How you doing, baby? Nate Dog, thanks for stopping by, baby. All right, guys, we're going to get the show on the road. Uh, we're going to get our finger wings done. Man, oh, man. I keep, I keep hearing the noise. You guys are way too generous, man. Bark Dog, thank you for the 100 biddies, my man. Thank you very much, dude. Appreciate it very, very much. Um, all you guys in chat... If you haven't seen Bark Dog stream, if you're looking for you know another awesome Twitch chef to watch, go ahead and check out Bark Dog. He does great work. Uh, tonight he did this really good uh, fried pork cutlet, looked delicious. So go ahead and uh, you know let me let me get my boy Bark Dog some love. Go drop him a follow whenever he's on. Go ahead and stop by and show him some love because he does some good work, guys. So make sure you you uh, you stop by. So we're gonna go ahead and get these fingerlings out. So I basically like, they have all the different variants, right? They got the purple, they got the, the yellow, gold, uh, the red. So I like to buy them mixed 
individually, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? If you want to have them all one type, that's cool. But I like the mix. Uh, they all have their own flavor. They all kind of speak for themselves as far as like aftertaste. Um, and I think these are the way to go, especially with fish, guys. Like I said, it just pairs super well to me. Uh, what's going on, Mama? Sammy D, thanks for the compliment, baby. Can't wait for you to enjoy your meal tonight. Like I said, guys, I got I got Gmo back in here. We got our boy. Um, and then Sammy D's in the building as well. I'm gonna be feeding both my boys. So, you know, these are my these are my guys that I've known since, you know, I came into Thousand Oaks. Like these are these are my day one guys. So, you know, I'm happy to have them here. I'm always happy to feed them. All you guys know G. Um, so He's a step below that, cousin. Don't promote to me to chef. I'm just a home cook. Hey, well, you know what? On Twitch, you're, 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 you're labeled as a Twitch chef, my dog. Um, all right, guys. Let's get rocking and rolling. So what we're going to do with these guys is we're going to get them uh, seasoned up. We're going to get them on a sheet tray. We're going to throw them in the oven. We're going to let them roast off until they're about fork tender, right? Get a lot of flavor on these babies. Um, we'll go ahead and have a bowl. We're just going to go ahead, guys. We're going to rotate over to the, uh, the chopping board. So basically, you're just going to give them a nice little halving, right? Slit them in half. Um, I love the purple ones. Look at the, like, vibrant dark purple in the center, right? Really, really cool. Love the color. That's why I like to mix it up a little bit, right? Then the reds, they're actually yellow in the center, but they have, like, a nice red skin. So it's cool to kind of have, you know, a couple of different color variants going on. It makes for a good plating. Especially with the white seasoned fish, you know, it'll have the seasoning on it, but it will be a white fish, so it'll look cool on the plate having, you know, the purple, the gold, the the uh, the broccoli rob's gonna be really cool. I don't normally eat broccoli rob too often, guys. I don't know how many of you guys uh, eat broccoli rob. I, I I say I've maybe had it once or twice to be honest, um, but I do. I've seen a lot of um, I've seen a lot of shows. Um, and a lot of recipes on how to cook it and stuff like that. And people love it. So uh, Max said he wanted me to get down on it. He said he wanted lemon, garlic, broccoli, rub. So that's what we're going to be doing. I figured I'd throw some sweet yellow onion in there to kind of complement it. Um, add a little, you know, another depth of flavor to it. It should be pretty bomb. Uh, purple fingerlings is the best fingerling. Absolutely. I, I love the purple ones. Like, I'll eat the purple ones. You know, if I'm, if I'm going to get one solid color, it's most likely going to be the purple ones. 100%. 100%. I don't have a thousand out. That catch though. Them hands, boy. All right, so let's get these finished off. We'll get some oil in there. We got a couple different seasonings we're gonna throw on these babies. Um, for the most part, these these have a very distinct taste. They're a lot different than like your basic russet or gold Idaho potato, whatever. Um, fingerlings have a lot of flavor. They they have a different type of flavor. Like you either hate them or you love them or you hate them, right? Uh, I have a lot of people that don't even like them that I that I remember in culinary school that were like, eh, I like them, especially the purples. All right, guys, so we got our bowl, right? Potatoes down. We're gonna take some some extra virgin olive oil, coat these babies up real nicely. All right, it's gonna help with the caramelization process in the oven. I'm gonna go ahead. Throw a couple pinches of kosher salt. Get these babies, you know, make sure they're seasoned up. What day are you graduating again? Yeah, let, let us know. April 21st, dog. You're almost there. You're about three weeks out. Everyone get some uh, Cousin Drew emotes in the chat right now. Get some hype for our boy Chef Dog, who's going to be graduating his culinary journey. Um, congratulations again, man. We're all super proud of you. You've been keeping us with updates every uh, every week you stop by and, you know, proud of you, brother. I remember going through that shit, and it's it's a lot of work. Feels good. So we got some garlic powder, and we're going to hit them with a little bit of paprika, right? I just like the, the aftertaste with a little paprika. So we're going to season these babies up. We're going to give them a nice little quick toss, all right? Make sure they're coated up real nicely. I feel like I need a little bit more black pepper because you know how much I love that pepper, you know what I'm saying? J-Town, what's good, baby? Awesome. Now we got a command for it, Chef Dog. All right. That fresh ground pep. So, we'll grab our sheet tray. 
grab some foil. Uh, so guys, just a little update, you know what I'm saying? I know I've, I told you guys a little while ago that we got a intro video dash song that was made by the homie Blake. Um, that is in the works, guys. My sprained ankle did kind of set me back a little bit as far as that because I wasn't able to be at the desk as much. Um, but those are in the works. The video is going to take some time. I am editing it myself. I have started it, but it is going to take a little bit of time. So that will be coming. Uh, the, the chopping it up with Cousin Drew and Gmo after show will most likely be started for sure Tuesday's episode. Not the, like following Tuesday. This next Tuesday, sorry. Um, possibly Thursday. Max is working on a little backdrop we're going to have for you guys. Um, I still got to make the things I want to make for it. And I got to kind of set up and play with the camera angles for my little couch area over there. So those are in the works, guys. I know I did promise you guys that. So just keeping you updated. I didn't forget about it. And they'll be coming shortly, guys. But like I said, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm working. I'm balancing out everything. So it's just a lot of work. So I'm doing the best I can, guys. We will have that shit out for you ASAP because I'm super excited. I think it's going to be cool. It's going to be a fun way for us to all, like, interact after the show. Let you guys kind of see the reactions of GMO and whatever guests want to feel comfortable coming in front of the camera, letting you guys know how the food tastes. You guys can ask questions about the food to us. I think it'll be really cool. I, I think it's a good idea. Bark Dog does like a little, you know, chop it up kind of thing at the end of his stream where he eats and, and talks with the community. And I think it's really cool. Um, and you know, I think, I think it's really smart. And I think it allows for a lot more one-on-one -on -one interaction like when I'm playing Fortnite, right? And you guys stop by from the stream and, and I get a little chance to kind of chop it up with you guys. So um, I think this will be a good way. And it'll let you guys interact with Gmo a lot more. You know, Gmo's a big part of the stream, just like Maxi. You know, I was telling you guys all about Maxi, but you know, Gmo's a huge part of the stream as well. He's one of the main reasons I even started doing it. So I want to be able to, you know, bring Gmo in, let you guys have a lot more interaction with him. What in God's name just happened? Are you serious? MRM coming through, dropping the 420 biddies. MRM, we got a 420 episode coming up in, what, two and a half weeks, baby. I better see you there. It's going to be a special Friday night episode for you guys. We're going to do it late night. We're going to get down. We're going to have some crazy shit in the kitchen. Gmo's going to be involved, and we're going to have some real fun stuff that night, guys. Um, MRM, thanks again for the bits, dog. You're insane. Thank you so much, brother. Thanks for stopping by. Hope your travels are going well, my man. Um, and Chef Dog... Coming through, dropping another 510 biddies. You guys do way too much for me. I know I just need to come out to California to meet y'all. Whatever, brother. You just let us know, man. You got you to gotta seat at the table anytime. So I'm taking the, the potatoes, guys. We're going to throw them in the onion. We're going to get these babies roasted. I got it on about, uh, we're going to go up to like 400, right? I want to get like a nice, you know, nice crispy coating on the outside of these babies. You got to make sure to flip them around so it gets both sides. Uh, Cookery Nation, what's going on, man? Thanks for stopping by the stream. Appreciate it. So what's good, MRM? Where you at, my man? Where you at? You still over in uh, Australia? Or you make your way around? What's good with you, bro? All right, so we got our potatoes in the oven. We're going to get down on this broccoli rob. We're going to get that prepared. Um, we'll get all our you know aromatics chopped up and everything like that real quick. We'll get our fish working down. When I rest the fish, I'm gonna, we'll, we'll start the, the beurre blanc sauce like towards the end of the fish cooking uh, because it's real quick and easy. It's a matter of just emulsifying the butter in. We'll steady it out with a little bit of cream. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a super simple sauce, so, you know. Um, throw in, throw them in the onion. I love you. What? Gotta throw in the onion, baby. I love me some sweet yellow onion. I, oh shit, I'll eat that with anything, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, Cookery, thanks for stopping by, my man. I appreciate it. Appreciate the support, man. Yeah, Mr. Subs here, baby. He and CMG. He, he came through. Always love having having our boy Mr. Sub come by. So let's go ahead, guys. We're going to get some garlic chopped up. We got some lemon we're going to be using for the broccoli rob. We need to get our broccoli rob chopped up. We got our sweet onion, and we got some shallot um, and garlic for the Berblanc sauce. So... All right, so we got some fresh thyme that we'll also be using in our Berblanc. We got our broccoli raw, we got some garlic. We'll bust out the onions and shallow real quick. We got our little, our little prep cups, you know what I'm saying? Keep it nice and organized. And I'm gonna jump over and it's, oh, what the? 
Gmo baby coming through, gifting a sub to cookery. Welcome to the family tree, tree cookery. Um, I can't take a shot for you, brother. I wish I could. All you guys that got gifted subs tonight, welcome to the family tree. We will do a little, you know, celebration shot later, but not for cheers. Um, Gmo, thanks, dog. Appreciate the uh, the gifted sub. And like I said, welcome to the family tree, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> Gmo with the twenty eight gifted subs, right? <laughs> uh oh. Don't make don't don't get Max like all upset, right, G? All right, so we're gonna clean up our shallot real quick. We're gonna get this chopped up. So the beurre blanc sauce um, actually gets strained. So in that case, just a rough chop on the shallot and garlic, right? It doesn't need to be finely minced. Um, you want to get the most flavor out of it that we possibly can. So we're gonna leave it a little bit bigger because it is gonna get strained. So it's uh, you know no big deal. No gotta be all crazy on the knife cuts here. Uh, I'm only going to use half the shallot because, uh, you know, I'm not making too much sauce. I'm making just enough, so I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. See how much shallot I get out of this half. It's not the biggest half in the world. Um, we'll do like a little quarter. We'll do a little three-way slice, right? All right. So, yeah, we'll, get, we'll do a little bit more. We'll do the other half. About half of this half. All right. Yeah, that'll be good right there. Save that little chunk. We're gonna go ahead and get our shallot in our in our cup. That's gonna be used for our sauce a little later when you get our yellow our sweet yellow onion sliced up, right? That shallot was pretty fresh though. Got my eyes kind of kind of rolling. It's really fresh. All right, get all this onion peel out the way. I hate how this shit just kind of breaks up all over the cutting board. All right, get that out the way. I'm gonna go ahead and wash the hands off real quick. Got that shallot kind of all over my uh, my hands, going up to my eyes. So we're gonna take our onion, guys, and we're just gonna do like a nice little uh, a thin slice, saute slice around the edge, right? So if you're going this way, and I was going down with the half moon, you're looking at a salad cut, like that's a nice cut for a salad. A saute cut is when you work with the grain, right, and you work along that. So that's all we're gonna do is we're just gonna do a nice little, you know, nice little thin slice. Have that ready for the broccoli rob, right? Um, depending on how much we got, meh. Onion cooks down, so I guess we'll do we'll do the whole onion. Can't hurt to have a you know never have too much onion. All right, onions all chopped up. Let's go ahead and get the bench scraper. We can scrape this baby up. Get a couple of different prep cuts for these these onions. Get them out the way. I don't need them right now. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right. Onion is good. Chop. Good. I'm baked. <laughs> I feel you, dog. I feel you. LA traffic is as bad as you all say. Oh, LA traffic's awful, man. Chopping skills. It's repetition, baby. Got to keep practicing. Yeah, still in Aussie land. Awesome, MRM. Very cool, dog. So what are you doing? What are you up to today, man? What's what's on the agenda? Are you just kicking back, or what's the deal, man? All right, let's get on to the broccoli raw. All right, guys, I, like I said, I never I don't mess with this stuff too often. So it's going to be a fun little experience for all of us together. So I know that you want to get these get these bulbs off right here. Discard this crap. I think we're gonna do like a little, a little clean up. Yeah, I want the inside, right? Perfect. So I'm gonna shave, shave this down. We're gonna work. 
I'm just basically peeling the skin off of my knife, just thinly slicing around the edges. It's the way you uh, you can also peel fruit that has like an orange or grapefruit or lemon, whatever. That's a good way of also peeling around the edges, getting the skin off, right? Keeping the keeping the meat just slicing right under that that layer of skin, so you get that that bite off of it, right? Got one. So what I'm gonna basically do, guys, is we're gonna take it, right? Take both sides off, okay? And once you got both sides off, you got your flat ends, right? So you're gonna take your knife. You're just gonna work around the skin all the way over. Turn it. Same thing. Just work it around. Anything with a peel, um, do the same thing, right? When you do desserts, you take off the peel, but you want to make these little, you know, these little cuts. Have the the skin off nice and evenly. So it's one good way of doing it. All right. Get the extras out the way. Eat it raw. Yeah, I'm not into eating it raw. Hey, what's going on, Holly? How you doing, girl? Thanks for stopping by. Hope the girls are with you. How's the realist homie Daisy doing? Hey, Daisy's doing good, MRM. We'll send her out in a minute. You'll be seeing her soon. Absolutely. We'll get the girl out here in a minute. I cried yesterday thinking about the traffic I'd have to sit through in LA today. Also because Jack put on his robe as a crown. Oh, shit. Four months, BB. What's going on, Jammin? Thank you for the four month resub. Dang, can you believe we're already hitting four months on resubs? That is insane. I cannot believe we're four months in. It's that's crazy. Thank you, Jammin. Love you, Cuzzo. Four months, man. You were one of the first. You were one of the first. First subs after affiliate. Appreciate it, Jams. Thank you. All right, so we're gonna get this last one peeled up. Then we're gonna start doing our our slices on it. We're doing like a little julienne action on here. And if you flip it, you still have a little bit. You just kind of move your knife along it, and just shave off the rest, right? Bam. We got that all cleaned up, guys. We're gonna go ahead, cut. How do I want to slice this to our julienne? So we're just gonna slice. Yeah, we'll do we'll do it this way. I'm gonna slice down it. Okay, we got them sliced up like that. I'm just going for, you know, nice, consistent, equal thickness for when I do my julienne cuts, right? Spin it around. Perfect. All right, last one. And voila. Get rid of that little back piece. All right, so now that we got our, our thinned out slices, now we're gonna get our julienne action in, right? We're just gonna get these nice, a nice julienne chop for the saute. I don't like that in either. But it has that bitter top on it. I don't want that. So it can be bitter. All right. Not yet, but he's burned himself. <laughs> no, I have not cut myself yet on stream, guys. <laughs> no, I have not cut myself. But I low-key have burned myself like four or five times. I've tr I've hit it. I didn't want you guys to see. <laughs> but I, I, I have burnt the shit out of my hand. Like, like absolutely burnt the shit out of my hand. But you guys didn't see. I think uh, Crystal caught it one episode. I'm not sure if anyone else did. But yeah, dog, I, I, uh, I, what I do is like when I have all my stainless steel equipment up here, they all blend, I'll just quickly turn 
And like when I work in a restaurant, I'll hold a towel, but like I'm not always holding a towel here. So I just go to grab and I fucking grabbed a couple times and burnt the heck out of my hand. I'm telling you like bubbling, blistering, all sorts of crap. Check on our taters. Now that I hear some, some sizzling. All right, getting some good color, cooking along, we got a little bit of a while. Drew, I'm trying a new diet. You should do a keto episode. Absolutely, MRM. Absolutely, let me do a little research on it, and I'll 100% do an episode, my dog. Whatever, if that's what you want, that's what you get, man. Absolutely, man. For how much you've contributed to this, this screen, dog, that's, you got it. Keto it is. I'm not sure, I don't know too much about it. Uh, but we will look into it, and uh, absolutely, man. Absolutely. I know I'm always interested in seeing uh, different diets and stuff like that. So, you know, it'll be a little learning experience for me as well, brother. So, yeah, we shall do that. All right. So, we got all this slop, uh, chopped up, right? We're going to get the sauteed down. Nice, consistent cuts, right? That's going to get cooked up with some onion, some lemon, some garlic. Uh, we're going to get our garlic chopped up. That's what we need to do. So I'm going to move this to the side. We're going to get some garlic chopped. We're going to get our onions. Is that an onion? Oh. Somehow made its way into the other cup, the garlic cup. All right, so we're going to get our onions started real quick. We're going to get our fish out, get those crack a lacking in just a bit. Um, fish goes pretty decently quick, so I'm not like you know, super rushing on that. We got the potatoes still in the oven. I still got to do their thing. Then you put it in hot water. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so one of the times I burnt myself, right, I, I turned, I grabbed with my back to the camera, and I was like, and I was like, oh, like, don't say anything. So then I, like, tried playing it off, and it started to burn. So I turned, and I turned on the sink. It was already on hot water. And I put my hand in it just thinking it was cold water. So I fucking was like, oh, I put it back under the boiling hot water that comes out of my sink. It was insane. Insane. It hurts so bad. Hell yeah. Thanks for me. Of course, MRM. Of course, man. Let me, let me, like I said, let me do some research. Um, and you, you got it, brother. We were, that, that'll be the MRM episode, man. Seriously. It's the least I could do for you, bro. Least I could do. All right, so we got some garlic to get down on, right? A little bit of garlic. We need it for the rakbi rab, the karabi, and we need it for the sauce. So I'm making my little incisions amongst the garlic. Is Lair Dog in the house? Uh, he's not. I'm assuming, my pops always says if he's not here, he he has a night job every once in a while that he does, and then he also, my dad's also in a band, um, so they usually have like band rehearsal, or they'll be doing like gigs and shit, so uh, he's in Colorado, so he's a couple hours ahead, so he's usually like locked into one of those two things if he's not here, but he usually makes an appearance at the end if he is anyways, or if not, he always, you know, comes through on YouTube, so. He's probably doing that. Yeah, my dad's an amazing mu musician. Absolutely amazing musician. From singing to drumming to, you know, pretty much everything. He's he's naturally just unbelievable. Unbelievable. I didn't so much get the instrumental music side. I got more of the artistic side. From the cooking from the Italians. Italian blood. get our garlic minced up here I don't want like super big chunks when I'm doing the broccoli rob um, I'm going to I'm going to uh, oh there he is <laughs> the hell dad are you working do I see you cooking up headshot oh baby MRM I wish I had you on snapchat dog so you can see them you can see them highlights the baby Oof, these past couple days, dog. And uh, now that my ankles, you know, doesn't need to be propped up next to me when I'm playing, I'm gonna stream Fortnite 
camera. I'll be tomorrow. So I have been having these gnarly issues, guys. So like Sunday, I did a special little morning Easter time stream, right? My pops is here. Um, and I had it crash like four times. My internet's been doing this crazy shit. So I actually think we figured out the problem. I got Spectrum coming tomorrow. Um, we got Spectrum coming tomorrow to uh, basically fix the problem, which what they think it is, which they better because I can't can't be having that shit. So once they finish up, you know, we'll be getting down on some Fortnite, baby. Um, yeah, I got to get this internet issue fixed though because I, I can't have it, you know, affecting affecting the cooking show, baby. More importantly, more than anything, it's it's this Tuesday and Thursday nights that I got to have this internet working, right? So been keeping my fingers crossed all day, but it's been it's been super frustrating, super annoying. All right, garlic's chop. We got a hot pan ready for some oil. Heat our oil up real quick. Grab some salt, throw some salt in there, All right? Helps draw the moisture out, like I said before. So we're gonna let those babies do their thing. We're gonna go ahead and season our fish up, guys. Clean up the board a little bit, the chopping block. I hear you're a rock star. Can't wait to see you in a couple. I know, Pops, I'm excited to see you in a couple weeks, Sam. Glad you're coming out. Yeah, it's gonna be cool. I can't wait. Can't wait, Pop. Daisy? Yeah, whenever G's ready, we'll send the girl out. Ugh. Let me grab this fish, guys. Yo, G, you wanna send Daisy out? Alright, fish. Present for Daisy over here. A little piece of chicken. Where's the girl? Come here, sweet girl. Come on. Come on. I'm going to say hi, everybody. Everyone wants to see my baby. Come on. Sit. Come on. Sit. More daisy time. Shake, sit, sit. Good girl. Good girl. Come on, let's go. Go back to the room. Go this way. Come on. Good girl. All right, there's a baby girl for you guys. The ankle assassin. No, we're we're back and rocking, man. I put my fucking ankle to work yesterday and made it actually feel a lot better. So. Mobile, a lot more mobile now. Very happy about it. Nothing worse than not being able to freaking move. Alright, onions are cooking down. We're gonna get our fish crack a Let me get another cutting board. Ugh. I wanna dirty up the raw fish on this. So we got some beautiful fil cod fillets, guys. Alright. Woo! Hell no. Heck no. Some fish juice. Alright, hold on. I got a little bit of fish juice coming over the, the cutting board. Let me go ahead and wipe this up real quick. No, thank you. Ugh. Well, all right. So we 
the cod filet. There. We're gonna grab our other one. I gotta grab the the, the bag over the sink. All right. So. So I don't slip and break my ankle. I thought about live streaming a gig on Saturday night. Hey, that'd be cool, Dad. You should. You absolutely should. You should, Pops. I think that'd be really cool. Really cool. Alright, so we got our, our, our cod fillets, guys. Right? Pretty thick. So I'm going to get these babies kind of split up. This is like a nice thin end, so... You know, looking for the, th the thicker part of the fillets, what I'm planning on eating. So, I'm going to save these on the side. I'm going to use these bigger guys right here. Alright, now we got our bomb fillets. One set. I can get these in a bag. We gotta flip them on you. They're getting some good color on them. Stay sanitary, guys. Remember, wash them hands. Raw fish, same deal. Gotta wash them. Alright. Now we're starting to get some good color on our onions. Very nice. We'll go ahead and let those go a little longer, then we'll go ahead and add our roughly raw. I need to get these caught in a bag real quick. Mm -mm -mm. Save them for later, another rainy day. Uh, 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 uh. Wash the hands again, right? Raw fish. You're a sushi grade raw fish, right? And you can touch that raw, no problem. But when you're working with cuts like cod and stuff that you don't normally get, sushi grade, right? You're not going to order cod at a sushi restaurant. You need to keep, keep washing them hands. Hey, what's up, Ryan? How are you tuning in? Are you at work tonight? What's going on? Pinky in the brain. When is the Lair Dog going to cover band for a Cousin Drew episode, right? Next time we go out to Colorado. See, MRM's got this thing in mind, man. I like it. I like it a lot. Alright, let's get a little bit of this moisture off the cutting board. We're going to check out our potatoes. Oh yeah, looking good. Yep. Cool. So those are going to get refired right before the uh, right before the sauce gets done. Our onions are cooked down, so what we are going to do, ladies and gentlemen, is we are going to go ahead, first off, we're going to get our back burner on for our fish. Get the pan heated up for these babies. And now, we're going to add some fat. Next. Get these babies in there. Perfect. Right, some salt, some pep. Get them all mixed and intertwined with the onion. It's going to help infuse the flavor. Perfect. All right, we're gonna add a little bit of garlic powder as well. Even though we're doing some fresh garlic, a little powder help uh, escalate a little bit. So we're gonna do, guys. We're gonna let that cook down, and then we're gonna add our lemon juice. Get the garlic in there towards the end because garlic will burn, you know, if you go a little too far. So let's get our fish seasoned up, guys. We got our cod fillets here. All right, so first, a little bit of oil, right? Yeah, we'll go, we'll go down like this. A little bit of oil. 
extra virgin, a little salt, okay, hey Ryan, what's up baby, what's up Ryan, miss you brother, miss your sweet voice on Discord, hope you're having a good time in Chicago. I only get to talk to you on, uh, apparently on freaking Instagram DMs, dude. That's it. It's the only time you want to talk to me. Bad friend, dude. Alright, we got some dry oregano we're throwing on there. We got some paprika. A little bit of pap for some color. Alright. We're going to check back in. See how these babies are sauteing up? Oh yeah. Mm. Tastes good. Tastes really good. I do need to cook down though. A little bit too tender. Man, that tastes good. Why have I not eaten this more? You guys gotta try this. Holy crap. That is really good. And it's not even done cooking. I like that. I'm gonna start adding that to, uh, to one of my new favorite things to eat. Virgin sacrifice. <laughs> look at that, look at that, Chris. Woo! All right, so, some fresh ground pet. We got our pan heated up. We're gonna drop these babies in, and I'm gonna season the other side while they're in the pan, right? So we got some, some extra virgin. Make sure we have enough oil in the pan for all three fillets to get coated up. Alrighty. We got our fillets going down. real quick guys we have a little view on that all right so we got the fillets down I'm gonna drop a little bit more oil in there okay we're gonna do another quick seasoning on the other side guys all right salt garlic powder Oregano dry, great flavor. All right, I love oregano with my fish. A little pat, and some fresh ground pepper, guys. All right, so we're gonna let the fish kind of go do its thing. All right, now it's starting to cook down really nicely. We got some color. Oh yeah, looking good. Our fillets crack a lacking. Making sure the oil's hitting all sides of them fish. We're getting nice, nice crust on those babies. You know what I'm saying? So in the meantime, I'm gonna get this out the way. Um, I want to go ahead and get our Verblanc sauce ready to rock since the fish is going. We can start that out. We can get the butter cubed up for it that we're going to need as well. Let's go ahead and squash this fish board off and get out of the way, not to worry about it. Right, squash the knife that I cut the fish with. Garlic is going to be added in there shortly, as long as it, as well as the lemon juice. We're going to hold off on that though to set my fish back. Right over here. I want to see how far along my fish is getting. Alright. Okay. Alright, 
guys. We're getting a good, a good, a good coating on there, a good crust. So, like I said, we're gonna get our sauce started. Let's go ahead and get our, our lemon nice and juicy, right? All right, so we got that. Go ahead, a little strainer, right? Add some fresh lemon juice in there. Perfect. All right. Fresh lemon juice. Drop down in there. Our fish is uh, smelling good. Go ahead. And Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. There we go. Uh, we'll keep that down a little longer. And as for you, my friend, hey, you need a little bit more time as well. All right, we're gonna let those babies go. We got one flip, keep the others more on the heat. We got that with a little bit of lemon juice. I'm gonna add just a tad bit of garlic into that. Let the garlic kind of infuse, cook down a little bit, nice and slowly. All right, I'm gonna grab a uh, spatula, just so I can kind of mix anything that kind of pops up on the edges back in. Scrape the sides. All right, we'll let that go. Fish is cooking up good. I'm, I'm, I'm excited for this fish. Get that fan on. All right, so, potato pan, not so hot. We're gonna chill those up there. Ugh. All right, so for our sauce, put this over. For our sauce, we're gonna go ahead and get a, a nice little stainless steel pan up. We're gonna check this fish if it gets ready to flip, baby. All right. All right. We got some great, great color on our on our cod fillets. Uh, I'm gonna grab some lemon juice, guys, and I'm gonna squeeze some fresh lemon juice in there. All right. So we got some lemon juice in there. I'm gonna finish it off with a tad bit of butter as well. So I'm gonna like, I'm gonna turn down the the heat down to a low, right? We're gonna let the pan kind of settle, and then we're gonna toss some chips of butter in there. And then we need to get a little bit of uh, oil in our in our small pan. So what we need to do is we need to cook down the garlic and shallot a bit for our sauce. Let that heat up just a tad bit more. So that's doing its thing. So now we also need to get some butter cubed up for the Berblanc sauce, right? Berblanc is a white wine butter sauce. Um, it consists of a shit ton of butter. I mean, straight up. It's a lot of butter. So, let me get it ready. You gotta throw it in in cubes. You wanna throw it in little blocks because it's gonna help um, emulsify it better. If you have it in these big chunks, the butter's not gonna break down as fast, not gonna melt down. Um, so, it's better to have it a little smaller. All right, so our pan has, has cooled down. Our fish is like pretty much almost there. So what I'm gonna do is take some butter Put some butter in the pan, right? A little bit more lemon juice. Okay. Oh yeah, this is ready to rock. All right. Oh, a little bit of shallot down, it's all good. All right, so we got those going. We're gonna let that butter melt. Alright. 
Butter's melting up good. Alright. And then we're going to grab some fresh thyme. Tornado's about to happen one in four times. Jesus, man, that's crazy, dude. That is nuts. Alright. Throw some fresh thyme for the fish. Alright. Shallots cooking down. We're going to go ahead and add garlic. Okay. So we're going to let the butter and, sh or sorry, the garlic and shallot cook together a little bit. Add a little bit more fat. Now we got this butter, right? Mix with the oil, with the thyme, right? Look at that. Chilling, straight chilling. Okay, so that's gonna chill on a low flame. These are just about cooked up. So we're gonna add our white wine in there, just a tad. Just a sec, guys. We need to get this butter chopped up, though, like I said. Got our white wine. We're using our Riesling, right? Pairs, pairs really nicely with uh, seafood. So what I'm going to do for the butter, slice it in half, flip it. Now we quartered it, right? Four little quarter butter sticks. And now we're cubing. And all these little cubes are going to go into our sauce. You might even need another stick, to be honest. So I have a lot of sauce. These will melt in there. All right. Garlic's releasing its oils. We're ready to rock. We're adding a little wine. So we're going to glaze with wine. All right. We're going to start concentrating and cooking down the wine as long and or as well as we're going to add a couple sprigs of thyme to this baby. We're going to let that go. All right. Oh my gosh. This mix right here, seriously so good. Need a little more lemon juice. It's bomb. Very, very good. All right, so fish is about done. Taking that off the flame, we're gonna let that sit. We got our uh, our white rind, white rind reducing. White wine, what's wrong with me? I wanna say Ryan, so bad Ryan, I miss you. So we're gonna let that reduce, do its thing. We're gonna get our fish rested. Um, yeah, I'll just use a plate. Better than my frozen pizza. Whole line bling, what's going on? Thanks for stopping by. All right, guys. So, Dun, 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 dun. All right, so we're gonna get our cod fillets rested. All right, gotta be careful, right? We don't want them breaking. So we got our delicious fillets down. We're gonna let these babies rest up. Nice and golden. Those are chilling. So our wine is reduced. We're almost there. Just about a second, we're gonna start adding our butter in. I'm gonna turn down the heat significantly. Um, potatoes are getting refired in the oven. I'm turning the oven off. 
have that heat sitting, but no extra. We're gonna get some of that heat out of there. All right, we're gonna let those come to a nice little warm finish. All right, so for the sauce, time to add in our butter and mix. So we're gonna add some butter in, our little cubes of butter. and mix off the heat. This is, called, this is us emulsifying our butter into a sauce right here, right? I'm literally just mixing the butter in, all right? We're creating our sauce. Slowly add a little bit more butter as it melts down. Angel 7-2, they're doing work. No problem, it looks delicious. Well, thank you, my man. I appreciate that compliment very much. So this is emulsification taking place. An example of an emulsification, guys, is uh, an Italian dressing, right? Oil and vinegar, two things that don't come together naturally that you kind of have to force by shaking. That's an emulsification. They could break um, or they can. you can create um, a stabilizer, which like heavy cream in this case would stabilize this sauce and it would uh, keep it pretty steady and away from breaking, right? With the temperature, if the temperature changed. So. There are stabilizers for it, but yeah, this is called an emulsification for you guys that didn't know. So, I'm going to kind of go on and off the heat here. You can see it's starting to create this delicious butter sauce. I'm going to wash my hand real quick. You don't want to let it sit on the heat because if it gets too hot, the butter is just going to break. So we're just mixing our butter in. It's, it's a long process, guys, but, you know, it, it, you got to do it this way. I'm telling you. It's the old school way. Maxi! What's going on, babe? All right. So, sauce is thickening up, guys. All right, look at that. Looking good. We're going to go ahead and add some salt. Some fresh pep. to season it all right we're looking oh my goodness why does that keep happening we got a little paper towel all right so we got a little bit more butter we're going to add in this and then we're going to add just a touch of heavy cream um, and kind of stabilize it right so let me grab these last three little chips of butter that i was going to throw into the fish that we didn't end up needing all right so we're going to get these emulsified in real quick Well, they melt down for a second. I'm gonna grab my cream. Uh, where are you? Okay. Oh, keep emulsifying. Keep emulsifying. Come over to you guys. Keep emulsifying. So, what did everyone have for dinner tonight, guys? What was everyone's uh, meal tonight? I know we're, we're pushing up to, what, 8.03, so I know y'all been eating. All right, we're going back over to the heat. All right, I'm going to add a little bit of cream, just a tad bit. A little stabilizer here. And we mix it as we add the cream in. Strain it out into a little bowl. I'll do it in a black bowl so you guys can see how cool the coloring looks on this, right? So we're going to strain our butter sauce out. All right. Oh, it smells so good. The smell of Frickin' butter, right, with some white wine and all these delicious aromatics cooked into it. So I'm taking a spatula, I'm pressing all the aromatics in there, all that liquid to come out, right, that's all flavor. All right. All right, so 
we got that out. So now our sauce is this delicious butter sauce, right? Bomb. All right, guys, looks like it's time to plate. Let's do it. Favorite part of the night. I could, I had cold cuts of ham, nice fish stick, sauteed up some spinach. What are you trying to get hungry in like two minutes? Frozen cauliflower veggie pizza, yum. Oh yeah, you deglazed that pan. It's so good, I'm GF, it's way better, it doesn't taste like a cardboard. <laughs> All right, let's do this, guys. Let's rock and roll. Let's keep that on the stove top. Keep it kind of warm. This shit off there. Paper towel. Clean off the plate, right? Nice for the presentation, guys. How was that, G? Take that chip. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fucking Garrett. <laughs> oh, Garrett. All right, taters are out. All right, guys, let's do this damn thing. How am I looking? I'm trying to envision how I want to see this plate right now. Okay. I think I got it. I think I got it. Garrett, <laughs> this fucking guy. <laughs> Alright, fishacito down though, right? Oh, we need to get a little quick. Let me wash off my knife real quick. Some slices of lemon. Get this damn sticker off. Get away. There we go. Let's do this damn thing. That's right, whole line. Those will be good. Uh, let me do this. That's what I was thinking. Depth will. Alright. We'll get a little, a little fancy with it. Alright. Should we do one more here? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Doing like that. There we go. Alright, now we got some taters to drop down. Precious name in the game. <laughs> It's a good, it's a good, it's a good name. I'm not gonna lie. I like it. Even when that whole line bling. All right. So now it's tater time, right? Like I said, you know what? Using me hands. Better plating tools. Sneak mm -mm -mm. one right here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, shoot. Okay. I like the look of these. These, like, crusted colors on here. They look nice. Where's the goldie? Okay. Like that. First loot. All right. Now... The sauce. I need a plating spoon for that. Uh, 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 uh. Alright. 
for the sauce. Perfect consistency though. Now we get the sauce down. Alright. Oh my gosh, that looks good. Alright, now we're missing a little bit of color. So, we will grab some sprigs of parsley. We'll do a little bit of, we'll do spool sprigs tonight. Really randomly around the dish, add some Add them to the lemon, right? Mm -mm -mm. Parsley is actually really good for you guys. It, help, it help, actually helps with dig digestion. That's why a lot of places do garnish with it like that. Just as a heads up. So don't ever hesitate to eat, you know, raw whole parsley like sprigs like this. There's, there's no problem with it. I don't like that one. Yeah, there we go. All right. That looks good. I feel like I need a little bit of fresh ground pep over here. Perfect. One more sauce. Dilly! Uh, tonight, Dill, we have a traditional Beurre Blanc, which is a white wine butter sauce, which I think you already know. You, you watch enough uh, Master Chef and all that jazz cabbage so you know i think you know what a beurre blanc is but that's what we're working with tonight baby just getting the plate cleaned up for presentation guys right voila baby hey oh no does it show up on the i hope the follow thing showed up on the whole screen it should have but uh what's that name I can't read it from here. KKYFF, thank you very much for the follow, man. And all you guys that just saw uh, the little knife thing pop up, that's Jackie's new little follow thing. It's pretty cool. She got the double knife. So that's a new little picture that Jackie Jackie threw up. Um, so here we go, guys. We got our delicious cod filet with our fingerlings, with our uh, delicious broccoli rob lemon garlic saute underneath. Right, with our delicious white wine beurre blanc. Looks bomb. Liking it. Digging it. Hey, KKYLF coming through with the Twitch Prime sub, my man. Hey, what's good? What's up, man? How you doing? Good looking. Uh, thank you very much for the sub, brother. Thank you. Welcome to the family tree. Hope you're enjoying your time here. Um, here's our little plate for tonight. Let me go ahead and throw it back down over here for you guys. Perfect, baby. Perfect. Jackie always coming through killing it, you know what I'm saying? And thanks again for the Twitch Prime, brother. Welcome to the family tree. I appreciate that very, very much, my guy. All right, guys. So that's pretty much going to wrap it up for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. All right? Hope you guys enjoyed your time here tonight. Um, all you newcomers, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by the stream. Thanks, each and every one of you guys. We're at episode 26 tonight. Um, be back here Thursday night for episode 27. Tomorrow I'll be streaming Fortnite throughout the day. If you want to stop by, say what up. You know, watch your boy get them shots. You know what I'm saying? Um, I am going to go ahead and take a shot. I'm not cheersing a shot. This is just a shot, right? For the hell of it. Dish in there real quick. Keep it nice and warm. So, um, thanks guys. I had a great night with you guys. Um, thanks for stopping by as always guys all my subs let me see them chef drew emotes in the chat right now ladies and gentlemen hope you guys enjoyed tonight I had a wonderful time with you guys as always um, this this dish guys is super cheap super affordable super easy to make really low maintenance guys comes out really nice right with just a little bit of love added to it so I hope you guys enjoyed your time tonight Woo! 
Zemo Baby coming through, gifting the sub to Whole Line Bling. Whole Line Bling, welcome to the family tree, my guy. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's get some uh, Cousin Drew emotes hype in the chat right now, ladies and gentlemen. All my subs, rack them up. Um, you know, guys, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be here with you guys every single week. Um, I know there's a little bit of discrepancy with the ankle, and I missed last Thursday, and we were off schedule. We did it Saturday night, and uh, a lot of you guys couldn't make it. So thank you so much, guys, for stopping by when you can. I appreciate it. Um, like I said, we got some real big good things coming for you guys. I'm super excited. Just taking a little bit of time, you know what I'm saying? Trying to balance work and, and having a life and my girl and, you know, kicking it with the boys and then doing the stream. So there's a lot of stuff circulating, but, you know, we're getting it done. So thanks again, guys. I love each and every one of you guys. Jackie, there's my girl. Your follow thing popped up just a minute ago. Jack, here's the dish since you just popped in. We got our sauteed cod with our beurre blanc sauce, with our fingerling potato. We got our sauteed broccoli, rob lemon, garlic down here. One last one for the camera. All right, I'm gonna take a nice little pick of this guy. So, thanks again, guys, for stopping by. Love each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much. I will be back Thursday night. I hope to see each and every one of you guys in the chat here Thursday night. Um, I'm gonna have some guests over. We got looking like almost like girls' night plus Gmo. We got Liz, Lexi, and Kui coming down. So, and uh, Kaylee's gonna be coming by as well. So we're gonna have, you know, four girls. We'll have Gmo here to entertain. Um, it's gonna be a good time. I gotta find a nice, nice cool dish for the girls. So we'll see what's going on. Happy to have everyone here. Um, thanks for stopping by again, guys. Have a great night. Check in on Instagram, uh, Twitter, Facebook. Hit your boy up, Cousin Drew1339. Hit me on all my social medias. You'll see pictures of the plating after. I got all my past plates on there as well. Really high definition, great quality pics. Kind of gives you a little bit better you know, than, the, than these cameras out here. So stop by the social media, guys. Follow your boy. Hit me up on YouTube. Got all the past episodes on there for you guys. You know, Sub to the channel. Love you guys. Thank you so much. Um, I'll be back here Thursday. Uh, I'm going to turn on some music, let you guys kind of chop it up and chat. And I'm getting out of here, guys.